Does the mind have a gender or is it only a property of the body? Gender is only a property of the body. Good question, really. I mean, people don't realize that, but yeah. Gender actually is, a f in Buddhism, it's a physical, uh, it's called uh, itindriya and puris, I think, purisindriya, I think, is the other one. So females have the physical female faculty, males have the male, and I suppose you could conjecture that some people have both or neither. I don't really know how it works. But, um, but the important point is that, yes, it's only physical. There's no, no mental aspect to gender. E except as to, first of all, A, how, first of all, how the physical affects the mental, because the, phys the, the female physical, property, physical faculty uh, produces certain uh, chemicals, and the male faculty produces different chemicals, and those chemicals affect the mind differently. And, and to some extent, I, I think, I, I don't really, I'm not a biologist, but um, uh, they affect the mind in different ways, and, and so condition the person's mind in different ways. This is why you would expect that females exhibit certain characteristics, whereas males exhibit certain different characteristics in general. Um, because of the influence of, of the different chemicals, I would say. Among other things, of course, the physical characteristics, the differences between the female body and the male body um, will also affect one's behavior indirectly through conditioning. And then on top of that, you have culture and, and uh, society um, that highly specializes uh, gender roles and, and gender expectations and so on. Gender, the way we look at gender. And, and all of that, of course, uh, has a profound impact on the mind.